lambitsa yo Je mismo, ora mismo, la lambitsa yo Je mismo, ora mismo, la lambitsa yo Alright, okay, welcome to Super Rich God, the voice of God. This is your host, Bishop Ricardo Shaw. Yes, of course, our title for today is titled, The Pathway to Prayer. Are you excited? Amen? So, let's uh, open our Bible in the book of Luke. Chapter 18, verse 1. Then Jesus told the followers that they should always pray and never lose hope. He used this story to teach them. Hello. And of course, to teach us. Amen. So, if you are not uh, yet uh, in the, if you are not yet in the process or putting God first in your life and praying all the time, then this is the right time to understand the pathway of pr to prayer. Amen? So, to understand prayer, we have to understand this truth. What truth? Number one, when prayer does not bring results, it is an indication that something is wrong. The Bible is full of answered prayer. We can find the kinds of prayers God answers, answers and the kind He does not. And why? Jesus told His disciple, pray and not give up. The answers will come when we pray correctly. Shout hallelujah. Amen? So, ibig sabihin nga, kapag uh, hindi sinasagot ang ating panalangin, something is wrong. Something is wrong somewhere. Amen? So, sabi po sa James chapter 4, verse 2 and 3. Two things we will learn here. Why uh, your prayer is not answered. You want things, but you don't get them. So, you kill and are jealous of others but you still cannot get what you want so you argue and fight you don't get what you want because you don't ask God hello amen so first thing the reason you never receive answer is well your heart okay ano yung puso mo hindi ayos ang puso mo hello Basta, gusto ko yan. Kahit anong mangyari, kailangan akin yan. Pag hindi mo nakuha, you are now jealous. You are now envious. You now quarrel and fight with other people. So that is not good. You need to have uh, a, a clear and a pure heart inside. And number two, huh? you don't get what you want because you don't ask God. You just keep on fighting. You just grab anything you want. And you don't put God first in your life. You, you never pray. So you need to ask God. The reason you never receive anything from God is because you never ask God. Amen? And in verse 3, James 4, verse 3, Or when you ask, you don't receive anything because the reason you ask is wrong. Wrong motives. You only want to use it for your own pleasure. Hello? Amen? So kung ang iyong paghingi ay maling motibo, lagi kong sinasabi yan sa ating programa, humihi, ikaw ay isang farmers. Instead na humingi ng bodega o humingi ng uh, bodega na paglalagyan ng iyong palay o ng iyong mga inaning vegetable, Ha? Or, or humingi ng uh, uh, treasure o yung mga pang-araro na equipment, farming equipment, ang hiningi mo, humihingi ka ng helicopter o humihingi ka ng mamahaling uh, Mustang, Pajero, or Land Cruiser o, o mga high-end na mga kotse. 
So you ask with wrong motives. Amen? That's the reason you never receive any answered prayer. Malinaw po ba? So the second things huh, that we need to understand. Huh? We need to understand the second truth. God is faithful to answer prayer. Hello? Ang Diyos po always, ang kanyang kasagutan is always yes and amen. Mark 11.24 So, I tell you to ask for what you want in prayer. And if you believe that you have received those things, then they will be yours. Hello? A good translation of this verse is believe that you have already received it and it will be yours. The answer is so sure that we are to believe it. We are so sure to believe it has already happened. Kapag ikay humingi, dapat nasa yung pananampalataya na open ang faith mo na nareceive mo na yung hinihingi mo uh, and it will be given to you. Palakpakan natin si Lord. Amen? Amen? Yes! Ang espiritu natin ang pumapalakpak. Amen? And the third truth that we should understand today, God's will and word do work when they are understood and put into practice. Ulitin ko po. God's will, kalooban ng Diyos, and word do work. Ang salita ng Diyos ay gumagana, gumagawa when they are understood, naintindihan mo, and put into practice. Malinaw po ba? Malinaw ba yung number one? Malinaw ba yung number two? Amen? And ito ang sinasabi na third things we need to understand. Amen? Praying without understanding the nature, purpose, or principle of prayer is usually ineffective. So we are told to pray so that God can answer. That is the purpose. God is a God of result. Amen? So, anong ibig sabihin? I-conclude natin, anong ibig sabihin ng Diyos? True prayer, true prayer will do the following. Dahil sa panalangin, ito ang mangyayari sa atin. Number one, build intimacy with God through increased relationships. Prayer is a simple, honest, and sincere conversation with God. Kapag lagi kayo nag-uusap, ay, nako, ang Pilipino, ang ating kultura, kailangan lagi kang kausap, kailangan lagi mo siyang ihahay. Kung sa Facebook, kailangan lagi kang magla-like. Hello? Para maayos yung kamaradery. Hello? So, to build intimacy with God through increased relationships. Number two, bring honor to His nature and character. Hello? And number three, cause respect for His integrity. Amen? Kaya tayo nagpre-pray. Number four, enlarge our belief in His Word. ba? Diba? And number five, cause us to trust in His love. Amen. Amen. Kaya nga po, pag lagi ka po nagpre-pray, lagi mong kausap ang Diyos, nagbibuild ang intimacy nyo, nagbibuild yung love na ganun pala ako ka- ka- kamahal ng Diyos. Naroon po yung nag, lalong lumalaki yung pagtitiwala sa, mo sa Kanya. At kapag in yung prayer mo, sabihin mo, wow naman, ang grabe, ang bait-bait ng Diyos. Paano mo malalamang mabait ang Diyos kung hindi ka nakikipag-usap sa Kanya through prayer? 
Amen? And number six, put His promises into action. Amen? Kaya nga sa iyong pakipag-usap sa kay Lord, lagi mong nire-remind sa Kanya yung Kanya mga pangako. Ang dami po. Libo-libo po ang pangako ng Diyos. Kaya ako nag, nag-pray ka, nakikipag-usap ka sa Kanya. Grabe. Ha? Nagkakaroon ng, ng kasagutan ang mga pangako ng Diyos sa atin. And number seven, affirm His purposes and will on earth. Amen? And number eight, advance His kingdom. Amen. Dahil sa pakikipag-usap sa Diyos, ay naiintind, naiintindihan mo yung kingdom message. Naiintindihan mo yung puso ng Diyos. Naiintindihan mo ang karakter ng Diyos. Amen? Kung sa ganun, ibig sabihin, nag advance ang kaharian ng Diyos through prayer. And number nine, increase His confidence. Nagbibigay ng increase sa confidente mo. Amen? And lastly, bring us closer to His return. Amen? The more ikaw ay lumalalim ang iyong uh, panalangin, ang iyong prayer, ang pagiging sincere mo, pagiging honest mo, na nagkikipag-conversation ka kay God, the more na napapalapit ka sa Kanyang pagbabalik. The more na iintindihan mo lahat-lahat ang patungkol sa inyong relasyon ng between you and God. Amen? Kaya po, I hope and I pray, hindi lang hope, I, ho- I, I, I wish, hindi rin wish, ha? Na gusto ko na sa puso ninyo, I want to pray, I want to have a honest and sincere communication or conversation with my God. Amen? So, tayo lahat po ay mananalangin. At alam ko, marami kayong naintindihan sa ating mensahe ngayong araw na ito. The pathway to prayer. Tayong lahat po ay pumikit. Tayo po ay mananalangin. Aming makapangyarihang Ama, our super rich God, Panginoong Heso Kristo, kasama ng Espiritu Santo, Banal na Espiritu Santo, salamat po sapagat Ikaw ang nagpapalapit sa amin, sa aming Ama at sa anak, sa bugtong na anak na si Yesu Kristo. Espiritu Santo, salamat for directing us and teaching us how to pray. Lord, sa oras na ito, we are activating our uh, sincere and honest communication and conversation with You. Sa oras na ito, Naintindihan na namin ang inyong mensahe. Naintindihan namin kung bakit hindi sinasagot ang aming panalangin dahil we never ask and if we ask, we ask with wrong motives. Lord, salamat din po sapagkat sinabi mo sa amin, Hallelujah, the you faithfully answered all our prayer. Kagaya ng sinabi mo, kung humingi kami sa iyo, if we ask anything in prayer, and if we believe that we have received those things, then it will be yours. Magiging amin ang aming hinihingi sa iyo. Lord, salamat po. Napakasimple, pero simpleng malalim na kailangan kung may hihingin kami sa iyo, kailangan bilib na bilib kami sa iyo. Kung hindi kami nabibilib, huwag na kami magpray. Kailangan Bilib kami sa iyo, nananalig kami sa iyo, nananampalataya kami sa iyo na ikay Diyos na mabuti, ikay Diyos na punong-puno ng pag-ibig at ang lahat ng hingin namin, dapat naniniwala kami, nananalig na sinagot mo ng aming panalangin at ito'y magiging amin. Lord, salamat po. Salamat po. At kami naunawaan namin ang iyong mga salita. At agagawa ka dahil naunawaan na namin kung sino kayo bilang Diyos at kung sino kami bilang anak mo. Hindi kami lingkod mo lamang, kundi kami po ay anak mo pang tunay. Yan po'y galing sa iyong namutawing labi. 
Ito'y galing sa iyo mismo, Ama sa Langit. Kaya kami po ng mga anak mong ay nagpupuri, nagpapasalamat. Ano man ang aming pangangailangan ngayon, ito man ay pangpersonal, ito man ay mga pangangailangan pang church o pang bansa. Lord, alam namin, lahat ng kahilingan namin ay madali nang sasagutin at mas mauunawaan namin na right away ha, ang iyong sagot sa aming panalangin dahil naunawaan na namin ang pathway to prayer. Lord, maraming salamat po na iinlab na kami ngayon sa panalangin, na iinlab na kami sapagkat meron kaming ta- sampung konklusyon kung bakit kami po ay nananalangin. Lord, nagiging intimate tayo na iintindihan namin ang plano mo para sa iyong kaharian at na iintindihan namin at napapalapit kami sa muli mong pagbabalik at naiintindihan namin ang iyong pag-ibig, ang iyong katwiran, ang iyong integridad, ang sinabi mo ay sinabi na. Lord, at yung mga pangako mo na kapag amin pong idinalangin o nagpray kami sa aming sa iyong mga pangako, ito'y nagkakaroon ng katuparan. Lord, ino-honor ka namin. Ha? At amin pong sinasamba kayo at pinupuri at nagpapasalamat sapagat anuman ang kahilingan namin ngayon, alam namin, we are in confident, we are confident, and we are at peace. Alam namin, sinagot mo na ang aming panalangin. Lord, pagpalain nyo ang bat isang nakikinig at ang pagpapala ng Diyos. Ano ba ang kahilingan mo ngayon? Mas naunawaan mo, alam ko, milyong-milyong tao dito sa lupa ang na, na, na bless sa mensahe ngayon at mas nagkaroon ng confident sa kanilang pagpre-pray araw-araw. Lord, thank you. At then I pray, Lord, na magiging 24-7 na ang prayer namin sa iyo. Prayer is a, a sincere and honest conversation with our Lord or, or our God Almighty. Kaya po, everywhere I we go, good time or not so good time, every time na meron kaming activities, we will pray first before any action. Thank you, Lord, for answering all our prayer. Thank you for enlightening our knowledge about prayer. Thank you for everything, for we pray in Jesus' name. Everybody shout, Amen. God bless everyone. Happy, happy, happy watching. See you again in our next episode. God bless you and shalom.